What is up everyone? My name is Jonathan and today we are doing another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today we're just going to jump right in. Everything about me is in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Share this video if you find value in this video. Let's get started. Today we are making the letter G again. I know I just did this like eight letters ago. Somebody asked me to make the letter G I based off of the letter J tutorial that I made. So if you didn't watch that, make sure to click the link in the description if you want to watch that one first. In that video, I used a letter G and today I am not going to use the letter G because of what we will be doing. So I'm going to start with the ellipse tool. We're gonna to swap these colors around, get rid of the stroke, keep the fill. And as you can see, I already made these two swatches these are just the gradients that I used in the J tutorial. If you want these colors, they are these right here. Two, nine, A, B, E, two. And that location is at zero. And this one is two, E, three, one, nine, two. And this is a stroke. And this location is at 66% and it is white. F -f 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 -f. This one is at 100% and this is 2E3192. And this one is at 0%. And this is 29ABE2. These are the same, same stroke or uh, same gradient. It's just got this white at 66%. That's the only thing that's different. So let's get back to what we were doing. Select off of this, change our colors back. Got no stroke. And we are going to start with a circle. Just gonna click here, holding shift and alt drag out from the center. I lied when I said we want a fill. We don't, we want a stroke. Crank this stroke up. And we're probably going to go for a hundred. Hmm. What does 120 look like? And let's go to 150. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do 150. What's 175 look like? That looks good. We're going to use 175 for the stroke. So once we have created this stroke, this circle here, we need to uh, select this object, go up here, and then go to Object Expand Appearance. Otherwise, it will remain a stroke, and that's not what we want. We want this to be a shape. So we could have just made two circles and cut out the circle, but we used a stroke to make the circle. So now go to your pen tool, and we want a fill for the pen tool, and we're gonna make it something green just to make it a lot easier to see. And then we're going to cut this off right about here and then come down here somewhere. And we're going to make a piece here and a piece here. So we're going to just make sure this is a 45 just so it's straight and clean, super smooth. And we're going to hit V on our keyboard for the selection tool. Select both of these objects. Again, V on your keyboard, select both of these objects, hit shift M for your shape builder tool or you can just click on your shape builder tool right over here. Now holding alt, you're gonna click and drag through all of these pieces. And that will get rid of all of those pieces. And now we're going to grab our direct selection tool and click on this anchor right here and we're gonna round this back some. We might not do that one. What's, what's this one look like? I think we're gonna Bring this back. No, we'll, we'll leave that alone for, for now. We'll leave it alone for now. We are going to drag this one back. So grab our pen tool. I'm pretty certain that this is 175 across. It certainly appears to be 175 across. Pretty close. So that way we know exactly how big our uh, other shape should be. So we're going to create a rectangle and we can create this. This just needs to be 175. It can be whatever height. Let's make it 250 so that it's distinguished which one's 70, 175. 
So now we have this guy. We are going to grab our selection tool, our direct selection tool by hitting A on your keyboard. We're gonna drag this up, drag this down. And now we're just going to select the whole piece and we're going to spin this around. So it's something like so. We're gonna put this here. Control C, Control V. Gonna spin this around again. And then we're gonna put it like here. I think we're gonna cut this back some more. Well, let's see what this looks like if we round this back. Oh, grab your selection tool. We're gonna move these all over a little bit. That looks fine. We're going to take, uh, let's take this piece. We're going to grab our pen tool again. I'm going to swap this around. Uh, don't select that. Grab your pen tool. Grab something green again. We're going to cut this away probably here. We're going to make this a stroke. Grab your selection tool, grab both those pieces, go over to your Pathfinder tool, and then click on this divide button right here. It might be in a panel over here if your Pathfinder tool is not there. I think it is shift control F9, sure enough, right there. That'll bring up your Pathfinder panel. And now you should have now you should have the option to click on the shape, right-click ungroup, and now you should have two pieces. Don't move them, obviously. And what I should have done was created a copy of that stroke so that we have it for in a minute, but I didn't. So now what we're going to do is hit control C, control F, and that will paste a piece in front of this piece. And we're going to swap that around to a stroke. And we are going to change the stroke color to something easier to see. Let's go with like a red or an orange or something. Let's make that a little bigger. Let's not select it on the path that a little bigger a little easier to see now hit c on your keyboard and we're going to cut this anchor and we're going to cut this anchor now you're going to grab your direct selection tool by hitting a and then you're going to click on this path and hit delete twice hit delete twice now we can move this back down into place right about there is not in place there. so now we have our path here which is going to be super hard to click on click on that path and we are going to yeah, didn't even click on the path. So we're going to do this a different way. We're not going to click on the path. We're going to select both of these pieces, arrange, send to the back. That way the stroke is on the front. Outsmart it. And we are going to click on this path. And we are going to grab our eyedropper tool and we're going to click on this piece, this stroke right here. So again, uh, I will put these colors in the description below. And this is still a stroke, so you can go to your properties. And now we can go to our stroke, click on our stroke properties right here. And now we can go down and click on this, whoops, not that one. I want this one so it looks nice looks very nice and now i'm actually going to go swap the gradient around no i'm not i like that one better i like it that way we're going to send this one to the back so it's below these ones this still isn't lined up right That looks good right there. Uh, 
There we go. Okay. Now we can click on both of these pieces and we're going to grab our eyedropper tool. We're going to grab that one. Now we can select individually. Go back to our fill. We can change the stroke. Do something like so. Grab this piece. Change our stroke so it's this away. Grab these two pieces. Grab the eyedropper tool and you can click on those. And let's see. I want to work on those individually, so click on those individually. And do something like that. Grab this piece, change this stroke. Something like so. And now we are going to, I don't like the way this is rounded off up here, so we're going to grab this, push this back out some. I haven't decided what we're going to do here. We may just leave it like that. That doesn't look too bad, just so it doesn't stick out past this. It looks funny if it's past that, so we're going to leave it like so. Whoops. Except, there we go. Okay, now we are going to create our eye, and we're going to make it the same thickness as this. So now width 175, and then this will probably need to be like 400. Nope, needed to be bigger than that. So click on this, drag this up. We're going to do a little eye. I don't know. The person that requested this did not specify, although in the original one it was a little eye. So we'll make it a little eye. And we're going to just make a copy of this one. Rotate this so it's something probably like so. And then grab our direct selection tool, click on this one, and we are going to not round this all off. We're going to click on just this anchor. And grab your selection tool again, click on this. Rotate this so it's something like so. Grab our gradient tool. I like it when it's darker in that point like that. Uh, let's, what does this look like if we round this up? Is that obviously an eye though? I think so. Pull this up some. I'm going to click on this. We're going to make this a little taller so it's maybe a little more obvious. Looks good there. We're going to drag this down some. Maybe we'll just leave that square. No. We'll do that. So we'll do something like that. Now we'll select all of these pieces. We're going to click on the stroke, actually. We're going to hit Control 2 to lock the stroke because we don't want a copy of the stroke. We're going to hit Control C. And then we're going to hit, what is it? paste in the back control B control B and then we're going to change the fill to black we're gonna move this down move this over I'm just using the shift and the number keys on my keyboard now we're going to go to effect blur Gaussian blur Crank this up some. Crank this up a bunch. That looks good. I'm going to grab these pieces. We're going to bring the opacity down a little bit. There we go. That looks better. Perfect. Oops, I missed a piece. Grab this one. I don't even remember where I brought that to, but somewhere it's right around in there. All right. Good separation there. Looks good. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me. As always, make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment down below if you got something of value from it. Thank you for watching. God bless. Stay safe. And we will see you in the next one.